After Roller Coaster Tycoon World went through so many development cycles and changes, could this next instalment to the highly popular Tycoon series live up to the hype? Hey guys, welcome to my series, What Happened To? We'll take a look at some of the most anticipated sandbox games that either never made release or just couldn't live up to the hype. Roller Coaster Tycoon World is a theme park construction and management simulation game being published by Atari and developed by Navizio Creations using the Unity engine. RCTW is the fourth major instalment in the Roller Coaster Tycoon series. The game was initially planned for release on December 10th, 2015. Prior to this release, a beta event was held to those who pre-ordered, but after player feedback was given, the game was pushed for an early 2016 release. However, Atari then announced that the game would be going into early access March 30th, 2016. Like previous installments in the series, Roller Coaster Tycoon World is a theme park simulator, giving the player the ability to build a functioning park, complete with a manner of rides, shops, and of course, roller coasters. All while monitoring the business and financial aspects of park management, such as budget, visitor happiness, and technology research. With this new title came the addition of theme restaurants, off-grid tools and placement of paths, allowing curved paths, and dynamic water placement. Players may also ride the roller coasters they've created in the first or third person view, whilst the park pulse mechanic allows a quick insight into the general customer consensus of how well the park is doing. Many critics will cite the first warning sign for Roller Coaster Tycoon World as being the change in developers part way through development. From Pipeworks software to Area 52 games, the reasoning behind this, however, has still not been published by Atari. When a gameplay trailer was then released on March 5th, 2015, it was received quite poorly from the Roller Coaster Tycoon fans and gaming journalists alike, with outrage targeted at the graphics that appeared worse than its previous title, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and barely better than a basic mobile game. After Atari stated this was due to it being in pre-alpha stages and promising a major overhaul in graphics, the game was then revealed to be changing hands to yet another developer, Navizio Creations. Meanwhile, Frontier, the developers of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, go head to head with their previous collaborator to launch their very own original title, Planet Coaster, a theme park construction game, almost identical in premise, that very directly targets the same niche market. So what are your thoughts on the game? Have you played Roller Coaster Tycoon World? I feel like the pressure Atari has placed on the developers to release the title quickly, possibly against Planet Coaster, may have led compromises to the gameplay and graphics. But nice touches, like the dynamic water and detailed park management system, may still make it worth a try. At least at the moment the game is still in early access and Atari is taking feedback and applying updates. What changes would Atari need to make to bring you back to the game? For me, the biggest thing is the animations for the peeps, and the ability to layer objects without a restrictive boundary, and better path placement. But what about you? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video of what happened to Roller Coaster Tycoon World. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out a lot, and subscribe for some regular updates. Happy sandboxing, and I'll see you in the next video.